Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. We start here with Chapstick. The crazy because I am hella entertaining. And yes, I do curse sometimes on my channel. So I hope that's not offensive to you. The troll because, first of all, there is no such thing. But I say I'm a troll just as my way of making fun of the beauty community that it doesn't matter. Use this product. Use this beauty tool. Use this technique. Slim your nose. Contour here. Snatch your jawline. It's not necessary. Here is self-acceptance, self-love, embrace your features, love yourself for who you are and how you look, even though we love to play in face paint. And so that's the concept of the crazy troll nation is just accepting who you are, loving who you are for who you are, and loving how you look and not really giving a quarter of a shit <laughs> to what the beauty community says you should do or how you should look or what you should use. That's the basic concept. You are perfectly you. You are uniquely you, and you are beautiful inside and out. And so enhance your features if you want to. Yes, as I said, we love to play in face paint. But do not feel like you have to change your features to fit in to what somebody else says you should do. No, love yourself, accept yourself. So if that sounds good to you, I would love for you to become a part of the Troll Nation, to rock and roll on this troll train with me. And if so, and even if not, I'm still going to show you what else we do here on this channel. This video is showing you a, a palette bingo look with the Scott Barnes Color Bomb Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm going to show you what the palette looks like. I know it's backwards when you're in. It says Scott Barnes. And at the top, it says Color Bomb. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And for the palette bingo, randomly selected five shades. And so the first shade it chose was Promiscuous, this shade here. The second shade it chose was Paparazzi, this shade here, which doesn't really show up on my skin tone. And so, <laughs> we'll see. Well, I know it doesn't. And I'm thinking, like, do I want to use a MAC Pink Pond and Contemplative, which is like a funky kind of mustardy tone on my lid, or use MAC Pink Pot in black. But I'm not sure if I want to do that extra work. So that's why I'm like, yeah, we'll see. But I do know these two do not really show up on me. The third color it chose was Riviera, this shade. The fourth color it chose was Peacock. <laughs> and the fifth color it chose was Arm Candy. And so we have a silver shimmer, a yellow shimmer, a matte teal, a bluish green or greenish blue shimmer. And it looks to be either a matte or a satin fuchsia shade so i'm like this is color bomb but it might just be i don't know so we're going to see so what i'm thinking i'll just do it first thing we're going to do we're going to prime our eyes with the fancy eyeshadow primer per usual i'm going to edit this out of the video we're going to blend that out with a sephora pro stippling concealer brush number 52 I do know that some of you like when I say what brushes I use, but for brushes that they don't make anymore, like this one they don't make anymore, I don't know if it makes sense to say what it is. And so I'll probably just say something like, you know, an angled flat concealer brush or something like that. So you'll know the type of brush, but not the specific one because it doesn't matter if they don't sell it anymore, if you know what it is or not. So that may be something I do differently. And so if you notice me saying flat angle concealer brush versus Sephora number 52 pro stippling concealer brush, I just hit myself in the eye. Why do I always do something? This is always something with my eyes. <laughs> and that time that was completely my fault. Well, it's always my fault because I'm the one that's doing what I'm doing. Even if I'm putting a shimmer shade on my lower lash line, sometimes it'll flake up into my eye but it's still something I'm doing like it's not just in the palette and just spits into my eye so anyway I do have brushes laid out so we're going to take promiscuous and we're going to take that with this is an Isom T37 brush and we're going to put that on our inner lid 
And this is, I think this might be more so as a topper. I like that the Fenty Primer is a tacky primer. And so even though this is like a glittery shimmer shade, it does stick. Placing it directly on top of the primer, it sticks, which means minimal to no fallout. And I don't have to be concerned with it flaking into my eyes, which is an awesome thing. So I'm going to edit out doing the other eye. I did have the thought to put arm candy on the rest of my lid because even though this is a grayish shimmer, it has reflex in it of like pinky or lavenders or something, but we're not going to do that. I think um, Peacock will look better next to this. Actually, I think Riviera will look better next to this, but then we need to use both of these. And so where's the other one going to go? And I don't want to cheat and just like layer Peacock on top of Riviera. Um, Cause I think that would just be too easy and we experiment here. We don't do things easy. So we're going to take a Fenty number 230 blending brush. I like it because it serves as a blending brush, but also as a packing brush because it's flat. And the way it's shaped, I can pack on and then tilt it sideways and blend into the crease. And so I really do like this brush. I don't like that it's pink because even though it's clean, it's, it's stained. And so I'm not liking that. And I keep thinking to get rid of them, but I like how it performs though. So now we're going to take Peacock. And this is a shimmer shade too. <laughs> and we're going to put that on our lid. So we're going to tap off. And it does tap off quite a bit. Even that first shade, I can see it on my cloth down here. But rather tap off and have it on the paper than for it to flake off into my eyes. You guys have seen videos where stuff flaked into my eyes and it just was not good. Not good at all. If I was the type to spray my brush, I would have sprayed this now that I'm thinking about it after the fact because that would have helped with fallout too or possibly it flaking into my eye. And so you notice I'm pressing, I am not swiping, I'm not doing any of that. And even with just the pressing, it is still blending in with that first shade, which is quite nice. And I do think that looks nice. At some point I am going to have to blend, but we're going to put that off as long as possible. And I know I said that funny. So this is what we're working with so far. I do want to take it higher up. Um, okay. I'm going to edit out doing the other eye. I want to point out this is a really soft shade and the shimmers in here are. You see this divot right here when I was just <laughs> pressing the brush in. It created like this little... Like you can see the brush is in the shadow. So it creates like a hole. So I'm just saying that, oh, I just stuck my finger in glam rock. So I just wanted to show you how soft these are. I will just be low what was on my face before I started. My base face is done, believe it or not, I am a troll, so whatever. Um, my brows were done, base face done, blush, highlighter, all of that. I do like a natural blush and a natural highlight. Um, yeah, so you may or may not see anything. And the palette I used is on my declutter list. And I wanted to just try it again just to make sure that I wasn't having second thoughts. And I'm not. You know how, like, when you decide, I'm going to declutter something, then your mind's like, use it again. You might love it. And you use it again, and you're like, no, you're still getting decluttered, bitch. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure before I try to find it a home with where it would be used. So again, why I like this brush is you can pack on and blend, which we didn't blend yet, but it's long enough where you can flip it over and use the other side. So I'm just going to wipe off the tip of the brush where you see some of that green. And we're going to go into, and I do have another one of these, so I don't have to do this. We're going to, <laughs> so awkward. And we're going to go into Riviera with the clean side of the brush. And actually all of these shades are pretty soft. So I swiped it in and that's the market left. 
let me swipe over here so you see that like this is <laughs> these are soft shades so we're going to tap off I lie that tapped off too and we're going to put that over here this is color bomb this is a bomb of color I want him to do like a dark warm tone grungy palette that's what I want from Scott a dark warm tone grungy palette because I like the colors in here but I like a dark eye and I like a dark lip. I like a grungy eye. I like smoky looks. And you can get some smoke out of this palette. You have that green over there and feisty, which is brown. You have secret service, which is, which is a black and Mediterranean is like a dark blue. And I know you can't see what I'm talking about because I'm being so rude and not showing you. And so you can get dark looks out of this palette, but overall you see where you know, the colors are light and bright, but they do work for me. And so I'm okay with that. So what, what I was talking about, this is old money. That's the green I was talking about. This is feisty. That's the brown. This is secret service. Even though it looks like it has shimmer in it, when you put it on, it doesn't show up. So this is really just a black and Mediterranean, which is a matte blue. So you can get some smoke out of this. And depending on your skin tone, you might get some smoke out of, you know, this shade here. This is no polish. That was a pressed pigment my eyes cannot tolerate, which showed up the same on my lid as New Fling, which was weird as hell. But anyway, so you can get some smoke out of here. Um, I'm not sure about this look. And sometimes I say that and then by the end of the video, it grows on me. So let me know what you're thinking. I am wanting a transition shade though, so I don't know... What I'm going to do about that. Right now we're going to take a NYX Retractable Eyeliner. And this one is in gold. And we're going to put this on our lower lash line as a base for the color that we're going to put under here. One is going to be the yellow Paparazzi. And one is going to be Arm Candy. Which is that fuchsia or whatever shade it is. I'm not good at describing colors. And I think that might look weird under here. Arm Candy. But we're going to put it there because palette bingo demands it and i'm not going to cheat and use you know a bronzer shade or a different color for my transition i'm not even going to do my inner rims um yeah i'm kind of i just need something else in this area up here and i don't know what what to do with the colors that we have i'm still going back in with riviera just a little bit on that same brush and just putting a little bit more higher up and i could take this all the way over but as i said i'm wanting to kind of put arm candy up there just to see what it does <sighs> what i might do is mm, i don't know let me do through the lower lash line and then figure that out so we're going to take paparazzi this glittery shade here i don't want to do this because if this gets in my eyes is it even picking up on the brush I'm seeing the swipes in the sh in the shadow. I'm not even going to tap off. So that's the clean side. That's the shadow side. I'm not even going to tap off. We're going to just lay that right here on top of that liner. And hope that I don't flake it in my eye. Yeah, this is a non-shade on me. And I didn't want to zhuzh it up by putting on like a black liner and then covering up the black with the gold. I am not tapping off. Because then too, I want you guys to see how the shadows perform on my skin tone without going through extra steps. So you can see it, but it's like, hmm. We're going to take... Did I say what brush that was? No, I did not. That was an Isom V09. It's a flat liner brush we're going to take they don't sell this anymore a pencil brush <laughs> and we're going to go into arm candy this shade here and put that on the remainder of our lower lash line this is going to look weird but we're trolls here this is what we do we just do stuff and we're going to just brush that along here I 
I think I do want to take some of this up here. All right, so, and I had a brush out for that in case I really did decide to do that, and I am going to do that. So we're still taking the arm candy. This is a Scott Barnes number 61 brush. I'm hoping this isn't a mistake. And even if it is, so what? Because everything doesn't always come out perfect. And that's the joy in riding on this troll train is you just get on it and see where it takes you. So we're going to put this on the inner portion just above that inner lid shade. So we're going to put this right here. This is interesting, meaning I don't know how I feel about it yet. <laughs> we're going to dip into arm candy again. And we're going to do the same thing on this side, right along that top edge of that inner lid shade. And not quite in our inner corner, so we're stopping like right here. We're not going all the way down. So that's going to go there. No additional shadow. I am just buffing. I was careful with placing and now I'm just buffing that line to take it up a little bit higher. We're going to go back in with the first brush that we use. No additional shadow. And we're just going to brush this up. And I'm pressing and brushing because I don't want to like lightly fluff it and possibly get particles in my eyes and we're going to do the same thing let me get out another one of those brushes a clean one and Riviera this shade here we're going to coat the top of the brush and we're going to bring that up higher above that line and it's going to meet where arm candy is hmm that's interesting <laughs> again meaning i don't know what i think about it my lids are puffy and i just have like all of this space up here This side has a nice round shape, but this side has a bump. And I don't know how I did it. Well, I did. I was going to say I don't know how I did it, but apparently I did it. I'm the only one here playing with my face. So we're just filling that in. I think I had to brush crooked. So now it's like way up. <laughs> and this side is way down. No additional shadow. So we're just blending, buffing, trying to get this a little higher up so it can match that side that blue is serious okay i guess we're gonna <laughs> the brush we use for arm candy no additional shadow we're just going to feather that over feather it over um this is interesting it looks like there's something missing here but I don't want to take which I am I just dipped on the very tip of the brush just to place that right here because it looks like there's a gap dipping straight in tapping it and placing that right here Maybe it's the lighting that's, that's making it look like there's a patch. We're going to go back with the brush that had Riviera, no additional shadow on it. And we're going to feather this inward into arm candy. So this is it. I want to do something to buff out the lower lash line, but what? Like I don't have any other shades to use. So we're just going to take a fluffy brush. This is a Fenty 210 blending brush. And we're just going to, sorry for smacking, because I don't want to do this, but I need to buff something. So we're going to go into arm candy and we're just going to dip straight in instead of on the side of the brush. Since we're using the tip of the brush, we're going to tap that off and we're going to just buff that right here. 
so that it's not a straight line. So if you can see the difference, then it brought it down a little bit. These types of shades are tricky for me because it can easily look like I got punched in the eye because of the tone of this shadow. If I do too much. Because of my skin tone and also my undertone. This is interesting. This is this is definitely a color bomb. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take, sorry for smacking. I am going to take <sighs> NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Deep Blue. Blue? I don't know why I said it like that. And we're going to put this on our lower waterline because there just needs to be like some more color or some something. And I wasn't going to do my inner rims. I'm not going to do the top. There needs to be something else going on because the lower lash line is looking really light. The top is colorful, which is okay. But I, I feel like I'm missing something. Right, so we're going to put that away. We're going to take Steel Smudge Pot in black, which expires at the end of this month. So I'm trying to just use it. I've had it for a year, and it looks barely used. Gel liners last a long time. It is getting dry, though. And I've had it for a year, so it is time to get rid of it. So we're just going to line our upper lash line. All right, we're going to leave that like that. We're going to take, this is the Lime Crime Astronomical Volumizing Vegan Mascara that came in something. It was a free gift with a purchase from something I got from Ulta. And I actually like it. I'm going to edit the rest of this out. What are we going to do for lips? First thing we're gonna do for lips, you know, I have lip products out. Gonna wipe off some chapstick. Since we have some blues and that arm candy looks like it could be a purple, we're gonna use the Max, what is it called? Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color, and the shade is itemized, but we're gonna put this over a black base. I know, I didn't wanna do extra, but we're gonna do it. I just need almost some darkness to this look. I'm going to edit the rest of this out. Now that I have the lip liner on, I didn't tell you what it was. I'm sorry. NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. You can see that it's black. The color is called Alien. Now that I have this on, instead of using this, I'm wondering if just to use the gloss. These do almost look the same on me, and I'll swatch them for you to show you. This one is matte, though. This one is shimmer. But on my lips, excuse me, so rude, troll. <laughs> We're going to do the shimmer because we got the shimmer, shimmer. Or should we do matte since we have the matte? I mean, or should we do the matte because we have all the shimmer? Let's do the gloss. Did I read what it was? No. Grand Illusion Glossy Liquid Lip Color. And this shade is... Queen's Violet, and I got this from the CCO down at Rehoboth Beach here in Delaware. So we're gonna. That looks nice over that black. <gasps> I'm gonna have to do this again. It made it extra sparkly. Ooh. See why I like experimenting? Because sometimes stuff does come out nice, sometimes not. But when it does, it's like, ooh. Instead of, this is interesting. Wow. This is the equivalent, I think. 
of putting a shimmer eyeshadow over top of a black eyeshadow base. A shimmer eyeshadow. Did I say the eyeshadow part? I don't know if this goes with the look, but I love this lip. <laughs> so this is this, the gloss. Mm, we're just going to put this up here. So that's the gloss. I'm going to just not smudge it out, but blend it out. So that's the gloss. That's like a little minty thing going on. And this is the liquid lip. And we're going to put that right there and then we're going to blend it sometimes they look the same to me and then times like now they don't and that's what i'm saying how when i say i think i have well not i think but i do have problems with color perception and i think though it's because it's the back of my hand because i was in my bathroom one day because i was going to declutter one of these and I put one on one half of my lip and one on the other half and the only difference was that the gloss looked shimmery and the matte didn't, but color-wise it looked the same. And of course, we do have different natural colored pigments in our lips. And my lips have like at least four different tones. And so I think that's why on my lips, from one half to the other, one was just shiny. But the color looked the same. So now I'm just like, okay, that's weird. Because I'm thinking I'm showing you they look the same. And, I, and to you, they look very different. Let me get a cloth for my fingers. We're going to swatch these colors. This is Promiscuous, and I'll swatch these later for Instagram. That's Promiscuous. This is Paparazzi. And Peacock. Riviera. Riviera feels dry. We're going to take a, a different finger because that stained a little bit. So we're going to take a different finger for arm candy. And this is arm candy. So these are the five shades that the random generator picked. Promiscuous, Paparazzi, Peacock, Riviera, arm candy. So that's what created this eye look. Let me know what you think about it. I, I don't know what I think about it. I do think it's colorful, which it is, which it should be because this is color bomb. Um, I like the lid shades, arm candy up here. I'm not so sure next to Riviera. I like the lower lash line. So I like aspects of the eye look, but all together... I may have liked it better if I had just took Riviera all the way over instead of putting arm candy up there. But I wanted to use it more than just this little bit of space down here. And that's what we do here. We experiment, we try things, and that's how you learn what you like and what you don't like. And so for this look, this palette bingo, yeah, I don't think the lip goes with it. I think the lip is too dark for the eye, but love this lip. I'm going to definitely do this again. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm going to get a little closer. You're going to see my busted baby wings. I was that for you, baby. <laughs> thank you for watching. You will see me in the next video.